Hello, it's Johnny Massacre. Don't take my happy demeanor lightly because my family name means that when it comes to music, it's a bloodbath. Welcome to vlog number nine. I'm stacking chips every time the phone rang. I'm in the world of liars and cannabis. I think I've done this vlog quite a few times. One of them was bitching about my new computer, but actually it was my fault, so I was being a noob and bitching about something that didn't even exist. Actually, the computer's really good. What I want to bitch about, though, is the DJ scene in Japan. Recently, I started hanging out in clubs, making some friends, promoters and stuff. And I went to the inner circle of one club, and there's one, well, there's a few DJs I met. One in particular, she she plays at a few cool clubs. She probably makes just about enough of a living to do it full time. And when you try to DJ in these clubs, the promoters basically say you have to bring loads of people with you. So the DJs are actually promoters. They're not really DJs. And that means you have to get loads of people to come with you. Like, who the fuck wants to do that? That's like worse than working in Walmart. You have to go and find people and convince them to go to a place. And you have to do it without them thinking you're a total cunt and trying to skank their money off them. See, I'm, I'm too real. I'm an artist, fucker. I'm not a promoter. Those things are polar opposites, you lazy bastards. You're trying to get other people to do your job. Fair play, power move and all that. But that shit's not for me. And you guys are fucking up the scene. You don't give a shit about music. Come on. If you're a really good promoter, you could get some good DJs, some famous ones, some new ones, and just create a wicked vibe. How hard is that if that's your main job? Come on now. And so I, I met one of the DJs, this girl DJ, and she kind of played the floor reasonably well. The music was really cheesy, but they're all so cheesy out here. They play the same cheesy Asian kind of EDM songs, which is just toe-curlingly bad. But they play it at every single event again and again, the same song. It's just guaranteed fun and drinking um, for the masses. And I asked her, how did you make it? And she was really um, evasive with her answer. And you know there's something sketchy there. When someone's successful and they won't tell you how they did it, it means that, that they got there not on merit. Someone's just given them a pass. Because if you're really good, you wouldn't give a fuck. you just tell people, oh, I did this, I did that. You can't be me. And she goes, she basically said, oh you can put stuff on SoundCloud. So I looked at a SoundCloud, there's like three mixes, the most average mixes ever, hardly any listens to it. So obviously she didn't get in there that way. Is she sucking the dick of the promoter? Or is she just friends with someone? I mean, seriously, but this is a music industry, it's always been like that, but it's kind of frustrating. Anyways, so that means I have to work extra hard, no excuses to get in there, and that's what I'm working on. So yeah, I'll see you on the next vlog. Like and subscribe if you want to see my Japanese adventures. Cheers.